हेलो गाइस एंड इन टुडे लेक्चर वी विल सेट द डेवलपमेंट एनवायरनमेंट फॉर एंड्रॉइड इन मैक ओएस सो द पॉइंट्स वी विल कवर इन दिस लेक्चर सो फर्स्ट वी विल इंस्टॉल द फ्लटर एसटीके सेट द फ्लटर एसटीके पाथ एंड इंस्टॉल एंड सेट अप द एंड्रॉइड स्टूडियो एंड नेक्स्ट सेटिंग द एंड्रॉइड इमुलेटर एंड फाइनली वी आल्सो डाउनलोड एंड सेटिंग द गूगल क्रोम लेट्स बिगिन क्लिक ऑन द browser and type here flutter we just click on this link so official website of the flutter will be open so we just click on the get started installation process of the flutter will be show here so we are creating this lecture for mac so we just click on the mac os so the installation requirement for mac os will be show here so first we check the system requirement so install and run flutter your development environment must meet these minimum requirements so your operating system should be version 10.14 or later and disk space is required 2.8 gb so flutter uses git for installation and upgrade we recommending installing xcode which include git so we are creating this lecture for android so we can create the git separately so we just click on this link and we can follow the instructions for installing the git so you can install the git with homebrew you can open the homebrew site here and simply follow this line and you can install homebrew in your system and after this you can run this command and install the git in your system if you want so all these are the different different option for installing git and the next point is that get the flutter sdk so here two option is showing one for the intel processor and the second is for apple silicon so first we check our system we are creating this lecture on the apple silicon or intel so we just click on this apple icon and click on this link you can check here the processor of your system so here quad core intel core i7 is showing so it means that it is a intel processor we just click on this link and just download the flutter sdk so we allow it so it will take some time so we just wait for it so after completing the download i will meet you a few moments later yeah so download has completed we go inside the downloaded folder and flutter sdk is showing here so we can unzip it with double click on it and we can unzip it so first we will decide that where we want to store our sdk so suppose i am creating here a folder and giving name development so you can take here any name you want so i am taking here development so if you want to unzip this folder with the command line so you can just copy this command first we go inside document and inside development and here i want to unzip the stk so we just run this command so it will take few seconds and after this it will be complete so after running this command we add the flutter tool to your path here we will set the path of the flutter sdk so suppose this is the command and this command set the path variable for the current terminal window only so suppose i want to type here so i am first clear this window and go inside the home and at the home suppose i type here so here command not found for the flutter because we did not set the path of the flutter yet suppose i want to set the path for the current window only so just copy this command and paste here so now the flutter path is set for this window only so if i again check here flutter yeah so actually here flutter is not showing check here path of the flutter so i am typing here which flutter 
so flutter not found because actually the flutter sdk is inside document and inside development so we go inside the development and here if i am typing which flutter so it is not showing because flutter not found so i am again copy this command and paste here so here our sdk is exist so we will set the path here we will not set the path at the home and now i am checking which flutter so now the flutter path is showing but this is for the current window only because here is showing this is for the current window only so suppose i run and check the flutter inside the another window go inside the development so here i if i type which flutter so flutter not found because this will work only for the current window so if you want to set the flutter path for all windows so we will follow these instructions update the path actually this is the instructions for setting the path for permanent so for this so first we will check that you are using a base profile or a zshrc suppose here you can check suppose i am using here zsh because at top of the terminal you can check here zsh so here instructions is given that so if we are using z cell so we just edit the home zshrc and set the path here so i am now i am going inside the home directory and so we will set this path at the zshrc so we open all the file so with the help of the lsal command you can check here all hidden file also at the home so suppose here is the zshrc so i am opening this file for open you can so like this you can open this and here you will just copy this path and paste here so actually this is the path of the flutter directory so we go inside the flutter sdk go inside the bin and here a right click and we just get info and here the path we will copy so you will copy the path where your sdk is stored in your system so my sdk is stored inside the document and developer folder so i am copying this path just close it and i am adding here so bin also will be add so it's already added so it will be add here we will not remove it so just save it and just close it suppose now i am opening here a new window and type here which flutter so here you can check that flutter path is showing in the new window also so suppose i am now closing this window here and will work on the new window so if your window is not showing the path so you can follow this instruction so you just copy here source and here type so if the path is not showing so you will just here type this command and here you will type source and name of your zhrc if you are using base profile so you will type here base profile but i am using here zsh so i am taking here zshrc and and after this if you will run the which flutter so your path will be show so you can also run this command for checking the echo path so it will show all the path of your system so your flutter path should be included here so the flutter path is also showing here so it means that your path is properly set so with which flutter you can verify we already run this command so this is the instructions for the ios so we have already created the lecture on the ios 
so if you did not watch my previous lecture of ios setup so i have given the link in the description box so you can check the ios setup so today we are setting the development environment for android so we just follow the instructions for the android so now the next step is that we install the android studios so before running the android studio you can check just here flutter doctor is the command so i am clearing all of these and just running here a flutter doctor so this command actually show us that what we need flutter command actually showing us that what we actually need we just need android tool chat so here we need android sdk so where red cross symbol is showing it means that we required it we will install it so we will install android studio so we will install android sdk and for the web part we need chrome browser and for running the app we need android studio the next point we will install android studio so for downloading the android studio we just click on this link click on it yeah so here a pop-up message is showing that we accept the term and conditions of the android studio so we just click here so here we are working with mac intel chip so it is already highlighted so we will click on it so if you are working on the apple chip so you will click here so we just click here allow it so downloading is started here so we just wait for it so it will take approx 15 to 20 minutes so we just wait for it and after completing i will meet you yeah so after downloading android studio will be show in your download folder so we just double click on it and drag and drop inside the application so it will take few seconds so we just close it and just close it so here we again run the command flutter doctor yeah so here you can see now android studio is green mark so it means that android studio is installed in your system so next we need android sdk so we just open android studio so search here android studio yeah so here showing that no android sdk found so we just click next and here just click next so it will install all the necessary sdks so we just click on the next and we accept it and just finish so all the necessary component will be installed here so we can check also the details here so it will take few minutes so we just wait for it a few moments later yeah so now all the necessary components like android sdk android emulator so all these are finished and the message is showing here android sdk is up to date so we just cancel this yeah so now we again run the flutter doctor and check what we need now yeah so here android studio is installed but the android cmd tool component is missing so we open here android studio and click here more action and we just click on the sdk manager so here we will click on the sdk tools and here we will click android sdk command line tools we just click on the ok and we will install it so installation process will take few minutes so we just wait for it yeah so finally download has completed we just finish it so now the next point is that how we can add virtual device so we click on the more action and here we click on the virtual device manager 
so here we can click on the create virtual device or here we can click on the plus symbol for create a new virtual device so suppose i am creating virtual device with plus symbol so a screen will be open so here you can select any device so suppose i am selecting here pixel 7 pro so we just click on the next so a system image must be selected to continue so here a configuration is given that api level is 30 and here system image is x86 so we will select here x86 so 86 is already selected here so we download it because x86 image is not download so we download it so we just wait for it a few moments later yeah so now intel x86 atom system image is downloaded so we just click on the finish so we just click on the next and here you can select the orientation of your virtual device so by default is portrait you can also select landscape so i am selecting here portrait yeah so now we click on the finish so the virtual device pixel 7 pro api 30 is now added so we can just click on the start button launching your emulator so we just click on the ok so the emulator will be launched here so like this you can launch any emulator you want so like this you can add any emulator and you can use in your application so now we just close it we can close from the cross button here and we just close this and again open the terminal and run the flutter doctor yeah so now the previous issue of the sdk is now gone so now the android license is not accepted so this issue is pending and this is also uh, given here the flutter doctor android license so we will run this command we can copy from here or this command is also given here we can copy from here and we just run this command so we type here y and again we type here y we will accept it and again we type here y for acceptance and finally we will accept it so finally all sdk package license accepted we just run again the flutter doctor yeah so now we are able to run our application for ios as well as android so this lecture is for android and my previous lecture is based on the ios setup if you did not watch my previous lecture i have given the link in the description box so you can also watch the ios setup the final step is pending for the web so we can install the google chrome so we just type here install so we just click on this link and we'll click on the download yeah so now downloading is started it will take few minutes for download so we go inside the downloaded folder and double click on the google chrome and we just drag and drop inside the application just close it and just close it so now we again run flutter doctor now the flutter is ready for run the application for ios android and for the web so all the issue is now gone and we are ready to run our first application so in the next lecture we will create a first flutter project and run in all the platforms if you like this video please like share and subscribe the channel thanks for watching